Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So I will try to jump in and do a live here pretty soon. I am just trying to prep for the hurricane, so I will keep you updated on my Facebook and my Instagram if I'm able to go live. Now, what I'm doing here is a turtle cheese board. Yay! My husband found a turtle for me, so he bought it and sent it to me, and I could not wait to get my hands on it. So... What I'm doing is I'm just doing a really pretty resin pour on top of that. I've got some great colors I'm working with. I've got the stone coat resin, which it turned out glorious, and I loved it. So just go ahead, and um, if you need to watch the tutorial or, like, how to mix, everything is just a one-to-one. -one. It's pretty simple, straightforward, one-tenth of um, mixing. This is probably not the best tutorial to watch if you're wanting it. Well, this is not a tutorial, <laughs> so not the best tutorial to watch. Um, so yeah, definitely check out like my geode videos, um, or even my alcohol ink on resin. I do a lot more breaking down of the pieces. Now here I'm just putting some cups underneath and so that way I can lift it up and bring it closer to the canvas or the camera, but also so that way the resin can drip off. Now I do end up using all that drip off later. Um, you'll actually see that in part two, or maybe that's what caught your eye on the thumbnail because it's so amazing. I end up using it for the triangles, but what I'm doing is I'm just mixing the purple, pouring the purple and I started with the purple, but I, it turned out that I ended up loving the coral and the magenta a little bit more like visually on this side of the, um, turtle. So I actually was really excited that all this purple, stayed on the side and um, you will see a lot of that purple on the triangles but this right side it mostly ends up being just the coral um, and the magenta both of them the magenta is the liquitex inks and the coral is actually a mix of my liquitex ink magenta plus the white and the orange from dollar Rowdy. i made my own coral and it's beautiful. I know. <laughs> and then I use a heat gun to move it around and push it off and waste a bunch of resin. Uh, yeah, but it's lots of fun. I think that it looks really pretty. I even loved it right here, but then I thought I wanted something brighter. And then that's why I kept pulling in the coral and the magenta. Using my glove to just sort of tap and pull the resin around um, just to mix it all together. I'm not too worried, but I mean, doesn't that look awesome? I love it. The colors are so pretty once they cure too, so I'm really excited about this project. Um, and then make sure you use your glove to wipe the resin around the edge so that way it is um, just nice and smooth around there. You don't end up getting like random resin drips. And then I took the glitter, this one is the Chunky Fairy Cake from Just For You Online UK, and I love this color, it is my favorite color from them, and I'm just using my popsicle stick to spread it along, and I will go ahead and speed through the rest of this and just take you to the next step. All right, it is probably about an hour later and this is with the stone coat countertop epoxy um, it was pretty hot when i was touching it with my gloves so i'm fairly certain that it's uh it's probably already not runny <laughs> but i don't want it to get stuck to the tape so i'm going to take the tape off and let's see what happens Wow, look how precise of a line. That is amazing. 
All right, so it's cured and I was kind of contemplating whether I should just leave it and do a flood coat, which means an entire coat of just clear and then let this kind of show through. But I had this much extra pour over, so I just used scissors and I cut it off of the paper. Um, I was a dummy and I didn't put the um, shiny side up, so it did not just peel off. So I would have to actually keep it like this. But um, I thought that putting it on the other side of the, uh, the turtle would be cool because then I could just cut out whatever's extra and then just kind of paste it all together here. Um, I'm just gonna use the uh, Gorilla Glue like this, okay? And I'm going to do a paste jab here and I just want it to be a nice straight line along here just like I did with this. And then I'll do a flood coat over the entire thing um, I just think it's really gonna pull the piece together whether someone wants to use it for a cheese board or whether they want to hang it as art It'll be completely up to them, but um, it's it's gonna be great either way All right, so This is just a really quick fast-forward of how I was trying to fit everything together and basically make it a puzzle piece of puzzle pieces that don't actually fit together and yeah, that was a tongue twister. Say that 10 times fast. But I did not end up liking it because when I cut it off of the parchment paper, um, some of it was thicker, some of it was thinner. It just kind of depended on how far it spread out. So I decided that instead of doing this, I'm just going to make a bunch of triangles. So I did a lot of different shapes and sizes of triangles and um, then I just fill the lines with glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed you through this process just so you can see that I am putting triangles, triangles, cut, 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 paste, paste, paste. That's really all it is. I'll even jump through most of this. Um, and then once you get those triangles on there, you will just fill that line with glitter. Make sure you spray some of the glue that's up in the top left corner right up there, the E6000. Make sure you spray that on top. I have found it to be the most effective glue for sealing the glitter because it dries fully clear. Um, I did wipe it off of the triangles though because I wasn't sure how it was going to dry, if it was going to leave polka dots. I didn't know. But on the glitter, I didn't worry about it. I just wiped it off of the triangles. And then once you're done with that stuff, you're just going to seal it with resin. I did the stone coat resin and I didn't have any issues. Um, I had a couple pieces of glitter float over to the middle, but that was about it. Um, besides that, I mean, I really enjo enjoyed this project. I think I might even add a little bit more to it. If I do, I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but... Um, yeah, definitely keep, keep an eye out. Go ahead and push the bell if you guys don't have that pressed for my videos yet. So that way you get a notification if I am able to go live during this hurricane. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to see if I can edit another video and get it out. Um, hopefully before electricity gets cut off. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know what you thought of this project in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to push that bell. And I will see you guys after this hurricane.